Hello, great people. Welcome to today's math class. Today we have a very nice exponential equation on the board before us here. Look at the question. The question is 4 to the power of n times, the dot there means times, 4 to the power of n equal to 48. What is the value of n that satisfies this equation? So if you are new here, this is all I must TV. And if you've not subscribed, help our channel by subscribing, please. So let's go into today's challenge and see how we solve for this um, value of n here. And again, at the end of the day, we are going to verify our answer if to actually satisfy the original equation. So let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So here we're going to take our solution first thing. First, according to Steve R. Carvel. Now, look at what we have here now. There is a law in indices which says that if you have your e to the power of m times your e to the power of n, this is equal to, so long the bases are the same and you have a multiplication sign here, what happens to the power, you sum them up. In other words, this is going to give us a to the power of m plus n. Now, if we consider what we have here now, you we'll discover that we are having a similar situation here. So let's go ahead and add the two exponents. So this is going to give us 4 to the power of n plus n, this is equal to 48. I believe this is easy, right? Good. So we can add n to n here to give us 2n. So this is going to give us 4 to the power of 2n, this is equal to 48. Now, a quicker one is this. Can we express 48 in base 4 so that we can strike out the uh, uh, basis there and equate the exponent? No. So since we cannot do that, what we do here is to think of simplify this expression down here. So how do I mean? Let's divide this down. You have your 48 here. Let's go with 4 because we have 4 here. So put that in mind. This is going to give us 4 here. We give us 1. 4 here. We give us 2. 4 can equally go again. Here we give us what? 3. So we can write this as 4 to the power of 2 times 3 or 4 times 4 times 3 will give us 48. But because we have a base number of 4 here, let's express this as 4 to the power of 2. So we can rewrite this as our 4 to the power of 2n. This is equal to 4 to the power of 2 times 3. Let's keep it in this format. Now that we have this, what we do next, it is easy. We want to take log to build a side of the equation. So if we are taking log, are we going to take the ln base e or are we going to take log base 10? Yeah, because we are having base 4 here, we have 4 on this other side, although we have 3 here, we're going to take log base 4. In other words, log to base 4 on both sides. So we're going to take this as our log base 4, then of our 4 to the power of 2, and this is equal to the log here yeah, of 4 to the power of 2 times 3 plus bracket all into base 4. Easy. There is a reason I decided to pick base 4. Okay, so that we can easily deal with this and whatever we're going to have from this place here now. Now let's look at this now. We are having this as the exponent, we are having this as multiplication. So we want to apply two laws of logarithm to this expression we have here. The first one is the power law, which says that if you have your log, your p to the power of k, move this to this side like this. And this will now become k times our log, our p. Okay? Now, the second law is what we call the multiplication law, which says that if you have log, your m times your n bracket, then take this to be our log m there plus our log n. So we want to apply these two laws. We are going to make use of other laws, but first let's deal with these two laws. So what does that mean? From here, we're going to take this power here down to this side. Then here, we are going to split these two here. So let's erase this and continue here. So from here, we're going to have this to be x. So applying this, this is going to give us our 2n times our log 4 is 
four. This is equal to, yeah, we split this to give us our log four to the power of two, this four, then plus, yeah, we have log three, this four. Easy, right? Good. So what we do here, it is easy again and again. Now, look at this power. We apply the power law or the power rule to move this to this side again. So, doing that, this will give us 2n dot our log 4, this 4. This is equal to our 2 times our log 4, this 4, plus log 3, this 4. Easy. Okay? This is 3, please. All right. This is 3. Okay, so with this, look at this. This we are having log four, this four, and also log four, this four here. And there is a law in log written which says that if you have log a, this a, this is equal to one, provided that your a is not equal to zero. So if it is true, then we're going to apply that to this and this. Yeah, this is not zero, this is not zero. And so this is going to give us, your, this now implies our 2n is equals to 2 plus log 3, this 4. Easy. We are looking for n. And so we have to eliminate this. We divide through by 2, divide this by 2, divide this by 2. So this, this leaves, this, this will give us 1, 1. So we're going to have n is equal to our 1 plus 1 all over 2. Then log our 3 is 4. Now, you cannot impute this into your calculator to get this value, the numerical value to this. So what we do, we simplify this by applying what we call the change of base law. And the change of base law says that if you have your log, let's assume you have log A, this B, it says this will give us log a, let's say we are changing to BC, BC all over your log B, BC. So we want to apply that to this, our expression here. Doing that is going to give us our N will now be equal to 1 plus our 1 all over 2, right? Then in bracket, we have log 3, base 10. We are changing to base 10, which is the common base. Then all over log our four is ten. Of course, we can get the value of three base ten, and we can equally get the value of four base ten. But again, we are having here another expression of which we can simplify down. So rewriting this, this will give us two to the power of two, and so we can rewrite this as our n. Okay, will not be equal to, can you still see from there? All right, so this is going to give us our one, there plus one all over two, then into our bracket log, what? Three base 10, so we have here three base 10, then dividing, yeah, I said this could be written as two to the power of two, move the power backward according to this power law, and so this is going to give us two, the log, Four, sorry, two base ten close bracket. Okay, so this is our final answer to this challenge here. So this is the value of our n that satisfy this expression here. Again, if you want to get the numerical value, you know the value of this. Just impute this into your calculator. Impute this into your calculator. Whatever you have, use this half to multiply it. Add one to it. If you put it into this system, it will give you the approximate value to this. Now, I said, want to check the solution if I actually satisfy the original equation. So let's take a check. So we we'll have here check. All right. So wherever we see our n, let's put in this value here. So this is going to give us our main equation is 4 to the power of n times 4 to the power of n equal to 48, right? So this is going to give us 4 to the power of our 1 plus 1 all over 2. Then bracket up in again, log our 3 base 10, then all over 
two log our two base 10 close bracket times our four again for the power of bracket our one plus one all over two then um, bracket open log three base 10 we've got to manage the space here then into two log two base 10 close bracket everything equals to 48 so we want to manage this space please okay now look at what we have in here now if you look carefully look at this expression here it is this expression we simplify it down to this way so we can rewrite everything in this format here so this is going to give us our four to the power of bracket one plus our one all over two then log our three base four close bracket times our four to the power of bracket your one plus one all over two log three base four close bracket equal to 48 easy all right what do we do next here we can use this to open this what does this imply this is same thing as our four to the power of what one times our four to the power of one all over two the log our three base four okay then times we do the same thing here which is four to the power of one then times our four to the power of one all over two all multiplied by log three this four they equal to our 48. so from what we have here remember the law we just consider from this part which is the exponent law of logarithm and so we want to move this to this part of this expression also and so we're going to have here four to the power of one times r four to the power of log our three to the power of one all over two the base four then times yeah our four to the power of one times four again all raised to our log three to the power of one all over two the base four equal to 48. i believe we are clear here right okay now if you share this carefully we are having four to the power of log three to the power of one all over two base four himself same thing we have here so what happened and so this we go with this leaving three to the power of one all over two same thing here this we go with this leaving three to the power of one all over two so from here we are left with our four to the power of one is t4 then times our three to the power of one all over two then times our four times our three to the power of one all over two equal to 48. I believe there's no confusion here right again what we do look at this we can use this four to times this four and use this three to the power of one all over three to times three to the power of one all over two rather okay so four times four will give us our 16 please sorry this will give us our 16 right okay uh, so four times four will give us our 16 then times three to the power of two times three to the power of two that will give us Three, then equal to 48 then 16 times 3 will give us 48 equal to 48 wow so what does it imply it, it means that our answer which you saw for where is it uh look at our answer here okay we are be able to prove that this answer which is the solution to this exponential equation is actually true it satisfies the original equation all right, so this brings us to the end of this math challenge. If you learned something from this video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, do us that favor by subscribing. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we release an amazing video. Because at All I Must TV, we drop wonderful videos. Again, I love you. And even those behind the camera, we all love you so much. Until we come your way again in our next class, keep winning. Bye for now.